yeah, the actual setup for PTW over in Poland was incredible. Um, it was a multiple camera shoot in a really high quality sports hall with great heating, luckily. Um, I think, um, yeah, there was, I think Santino was over there as well. Um, I think I went out there. With, I think Zion Brookside was out there as well. A couple of a couple of other girls from uh, NXT UK, but yeah, it was it, it was a re- it was a, it was had that real solid independent show feel. It really did. Um, there's people from all over the place, Mexico, and, uh, and obviously, like I say, TNA being represented, and myself. So yeah, it was really really good actually. Um, I'd very much like to go back there, but yeah, PTW as a whole, very well ran, very smooth. Um, I, I think we had pyrotechnics. We had a little bit, of, little bit of extra pizzazz on our entrance entrances, some fire as well. Um, yeah, they got a good setup going on over there. But yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get to uh, jump on my Ryanair flight home with that delightful digital media championship. So, but yeah, as you said, I've got a a full year of uh, trying to get as many of those TNA titles on my shoulder as I can. Uh, are you, can you answer? Are you signed for a year or are you there longer? Right. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ongoing contract. Okay. Uh, anybody else you, you are looking forward to working with? Obviously you just said Speedball and yeah. Hendry are two, two very popular names with the company. Anybody oh, else you want to throw your hat in? Yeah, Josh Alexander fires off the tip of the tongue. Absolutely fires off the tip of the tongue. Um, we've never got to mix it up one on one, which is something that I've wanted to do for quite some years now. Um, and it's crazy how the world works. It's been written down on potential uh, match cards all over the world. To be honest, so there's been quite a few times where it's very nearly, very nearly happened. But to be able to now. <laughs> looking at it going forward for 2024 and you know knowing that you know that's a nice goal that I can have um personally um but more so you know it, Josh is an incredible performer we all know it um he's the talisman uh, of impact and I'm sure he'll be the talisman of TNA going forward so um yeah he's my mate he's my kind of main target on a solo on a on the solo adventure uh, of next year but um yeah, Josh Alexander, superior wrestler, supreme performer, um, mm. and it's time to meet Trent Seven one on one for the first ever time in a TNA ring. There you go. That that's the emphasis. I love how people are excited about it. Uh, yeah. you, you have some people that are still on the roster that were part of it back then, like a name like Eddie Edwards. Just they yeah. announced he re-signed a new contract today. He was there, oh. but it's definitely there's a different feel to it. Oh it's, yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, like the, the the work and the effort that went into to ensure an impact. I mean, not necessarily. I don't want to use terms like stay the flow because it, 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 that's that's not what I mean. I mean, in a professional wrestling sense, there's a team of people there over the course of the last kind of like three four years that have really dug their heels in. I think, and uh, and to see to see them now push forward and you know for me personally just be able to have the opportunity to to come in and work under the tna banner you know a lot a lot of a lot of respect has to go to that team that over the course of the last three years from from production to in ring to announcers to male and talent female talent um across the board uh, the company is uh, has really been held together really well uh, and i feel like that's really given us an, a platform to to leap forward into 2024 and, and like i say the rebranding, the TNA logo is back on the on the on the on the center of the ring, and you know, I, I I can't I can't imagine. I mean, me personally, I'm I'm absolutely buzzing them off to be honest to, to get 2024 underway. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of people there that really deserve this as well, and it's going to be really cool to be able to do that journey and take that journey uh, from Impact all the way through to TNA um, to with them. So yeah. An excellent little journey. I usually do a watch list. Is there a match that you would sit people down and say, "Here's the trend that you're going to get in TNA"? The trend that you're going to get in TNA. Oh, that's a couple. Or, of... or the one that you hope to show them, since you only have. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So, um, some of my finest work was unfortunately done in front of no one. Um, 
in the old BT Sports studio. So if you want some hot, if you want some top end front seven one on one action, um, there's JD McDonough. Uh, from um, the BT Sports Studios of NXT UK, where I fought him for the Cruiserweight Championship. Mm -hmm. um, a young gentleman called A Kid. Um, I fought him in the final of a Heritage of the Heritage Cup. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one of my best performances to date in my entire career. Um, so I'll stand by that one quite solidly. Um, and then, yeah, if you want a taste of what Speedball Mountain can do, you can uh, watch a little bit of Mustache Mountain. Um, our trilogy with the uh, with the Undisputed Era is, for me, some of the finest tag team professional wrestling I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. um, and I just feel like, you know, I, I want to try and say that as humbly as I can. Um, it was just an honour to to be part of it. But, um, yeah, that's what I'd say. That's the, that's mm -hmm. the, the top feud and the top couple of singles matches. And um, But you get a little bit more of a grizzled version of Trent Seven as well this year, I think. Um a little bit more of a wily version of Trent yeah. Seven. Um, but definitely still as goal oriented and still as focused as ever. Um, the boys are off doing their thing and it's now time for Trent Seven to stand on his own two feet and and grab some gold. If I have this correct, you were in Transformers the last night? Very, very, very briefly. Okay. So <laughs> what was what was that? Like how'd you like how'd you get the yeah, role? That was that was just before WWE. Um, just before we signed WWE, I um, I was working for uh, for a company called ICW. You must have heard of it, Insane Championship Wrestling, incredible company up north. Um, they're kind of like on, on their on a new little renaissance as well, which is brilliant for to see for them. Um, and yes, so there was posters and billboards all over the place with me and Wolfgang's face on it. Um, heading into this big hydro show. I think Kurt Angle was on the show as well. We sold about mm -hmm. seven and a half thousand tickets or something. It was crazy. And um, one of the, um, I want to say producers, casting um, saw the billboard apparently mm -hmm. and then um, just reached out and then we got cast in, as a, as extra. Well, it, my, my name is funnily enough on the first title screen, mm -hmm. which is, I screenshotted that a couple of times. I can tell you that just for a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of kudos for myself in my favourites folder on my phone. Um, but yeah, it was just a wonderful experience. Um, yeah, we 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 got we got to work with Michael Bay very 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 briefly on a couple of scenes, and it was, it was, it was an eye, open, eye opening uh, week. Um, some of the some, the amount of money that is in that industry and the amount of the amount of people it takes just to make. It's just such a short, short section of a film. It was quite incredible, to be brutally honest. But, um, yeah, a wonderful experience. And uh, I shared it with Eddie Hall as well, the world's strongest man. Um, we, we shared a, um, a hot tub every night, which was a quite a wonderful conversation. Um, but, yeah, it was good times. It was great. I hope to – I mean, my, my goal in – since I kind of like left school, was to always kind of obviously be in the entertainment industry in some capacity. So um, it is definitely something that I want to kind of reach back into. And you know, if obviously being back in front, back on a lot more television screens and obviously a lot more different streaming sites with TNA, mm. uh, hopefully you know that might even give me a chance to kind of reach back into that kind of uh, pool of expertise. Well, not expertise, but <laughs> that pool of hope, so to speak. Um, but yeah, that'd be great. I, I, I've always wanted to be a presenter as well, so um, mm -hmm. managed to tick a couple of those boxes recently. But yeah, um, the focus, I'm losing myself there. Um, the focus this year is, is a lot of it is going to be focused on the physical side of Trend 7. Um, you know, I've got a lot of goals that I want to reach personally and physically. Um, and I think as long as I keep my little mantra of, ensuring that the fans get the best quality performance and the best quality val the value for their money from watching me perform. Uh, I think 2024 is going to be a very good year. I can't think of a better way to, to wrap things up. Uh, you know, best of luck finishing Thanks. this year <laughs> and starting with TNA. Uh, look forward to seeing what you do with the company. I appreciate you very much. Thank you very much right. indeed.